Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. They're Long Island's largest rock salt source. And uh, they serve everybody in the tri-state area and beyond. So if you can't get rock salt where you are, you can certainly find it at Omni at low prices. Also, mag, ice pellets and flakes, pellido, snow blowers, snow shovels, supplies to get you through any power outages, whatever it is, they've got it. 631-756-1125 for the best prices anywhere. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. So we're finishing off a nice day with temperatures close to average for this time of year. And that's where we're going to be going forward. So we're not going to have to, not going to be seeing uh, very warm temperatures for a while at least. And certainly not in this blocking pattern that we have. And that is going to be in complete control as we go through the weekend, all of next week, and probably beyond that. In the meantime, uh, we're in a good spot. You see skies clear on the satellite. There is a storm system developing south of Nova Scotia. You see the clouds rotating there. And by the way, you notice that the storm is not moving eastward. It's actually backing westward. This is part of the problem here uh, with the blocking pattern. We don't get that normal west to east motion. So storms have to find another way to get through. And this disturbance that's over the Great Lakes, that's producing some precipitation here. Well, that's all going to fall apart because of that storm that's south of Nova Scotia and the big high that's building southward in between. The system's got no chance. It's just going to uh, just disappear uh, overnight. We may see some clouds go through from it, but that's it. There are some showers on the radar going into this evening in northern Georgia, South Carolina, and in northern Alabama. We're also seeing a ton of activity coming into the Pacific Northwest as well as into California. And uh, this is heavy rain and heavy snow. This is the prelude to what's going to be a big storm for the plains. And we're going to get to that uh, in a moment. We've got a weather system for Sunday here in the Northeast. And the uh, weather prediction, folks, uh, this is the probability. Wait, here we go. There's the map. So this is the probability of at least an inch uh, for uh, Mon uh, Sunday night. And there you have it. This is uh, Sunday night from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. And then another six-hour period after that uh, from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. on Monday. So if we just make it the probability of at least two inches and go to a 72-hour time frame here so that we uh, cover uh, the, whole, the whole system and just get a clean number, this is what we have. So I'll get a little closer here to you. This is uh, updated uh, by uh, the weather prediction folks. And we have a, uh, the 50% is in the blue. So uh, this is where I think you have the best chances of seeing a couple of inches. Northwest New Jersey, up in the corner of the state, the Hudson Valley, go north of 84, northwest Connecticut. Uh, there's a patch of uh, 60 to 70% probability uh, into the Catskills, uh, the southern flank of this, the 0% line or the 1% line makes it right down to the coast. I, I think for the coastal areas, you'll probably maybe get some flakes in the mix, but it'll be mostly rain uh, unless it gets a little bit colder by a degree or two. We also have a vigorous upper air system that's involved in this that's kind of a bit of a wild card in, in all of this, but for now, uh, we're thinking that this makes the most sense. The other system that I want to just highlight here is in the long range, and this is for later next week. We've got this system coming into the plains, and you can see very high probabilities of at least three inches of snow up in the uh, northern plains come Tuesday into Wednesday. Then we start to move Wednesday into Thursday. It starts to shift eastward. And actually, the weather prediction folks in the long range, this is in their eight-day forecast. You don't see this too often. In the, the eight-day forecast, uh, they already have a 30 to 50% chance of at least three inches of snow for northeastern Pennsylvania and then up northward through upstate New York, west of 87, but they even have the 10 to 30% line almost down to the coast. And this is very early in the game with regards to uh, that the uh, second weather system that we're talking about. So uh, we're going to take a look at the model runs from this afternoon. We're going to look at 
uh, the NAM model today and use that. Uh, one of the shorter range models here, I think, is in order. So we have no problems tonight other than a few passing clouds. Should have a nice day for tomorrow. See all that moisture just disappears. You see the storm that's uh, south of Nova Scotia moving southward. So once that gets out of the way, that allows more room. Here comes the next weather system for Sunday. This is Sunday morning at 7 a.m. with some snows already in central and north, north central and northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, by 1 o'clock in the afternoon, northern New Jersey, northeastern PA, and then on up uh, the Hudson Valley uh, into some snow. Uh, the precipitation continues there into Sunday night, then gradually starts to shift to the south and east. Uh, again, for the coast, you see where the rain is. It's just right along the immediate coast. If you're in central and south Jersey and south of southern Pennsylvania, very little here out of this. And that moves away. Now I'm going to switch to the longer range. Here's where it starts to, you know, it gets very interesting. And you can expect models to go in back and forth on this for the, for the next several days at least. It's all about how strong the block is going to be. This plane, this system coming out of the Rockies is heading for the plains. Now, normally, it would just keep going northeastward up into the western lakes. Not happening this time around. Because of the block, that low dies out. A secondary low starts to form in the east. And it's going to be a matter of how much blocking there is. Uh, if there's too much, uh, this could wind up being an accumulating snow event for Virginia and North Carolina, maybe up to Maryland and southern Pennsylvania and southern New Jersey, and that's it. Uh, if the blocking is strong, but maybe a little bit uh, less strong than we're seeing here today, uh, we can go back to the run from last night, uh, which took a storm up along the East Coast uh, with heavy snows. I mean, the, the, the the range is in there, and it's just going to be a matter of how strong the block is with regarding that particular system. And that would be more toward the end of next week uh, that we'll, we'll be dealing with that. But first things first, we have the system for Sunday night, and that should be pretty straightforward. Just watching an upper air low that's coming down with it that might produce maybe some locally higher amounts. Weather in 5, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. So enjoy the rest of your Friday evening and have a great weekend. We'll be here uh, posting on my website, posting on my subscription website, patreon.com, meteor slash meteorologist Joe Chaffee. And don't forget to download the free weather apps that are on Google Play. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app on Google Play or on the App Store so you can follow along with this winter weather. The Joe and Joe Weather Show will be back on Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We hope to see you then.